I chose to interview my friend Aiden. She is an international student from China, and this is her second year at DBU, and she is currently working on a master's. As Christians, it is important for us to understand other worldviews and to better understand the Chinese worldview. I asked Aiden to describe the Chinese religion and culture. I grew up in China. So, which is, I hate to say that, but China is like, it's not like America. They have no faith in China, but we have in a lot of um, different kind of religion in China. Like me, I grew up in, because um, my dad's, grand, um, dad's mom, which is my dad's side uh, grandma, she's a Buddhist. And my mom's side um, grandma, she's a Christian. So I kind of grew up in a two kind of different faith, different religions. So I think the funny thing is the two, both two religions, they have the main purpose like kind to everybody, service to everybody. Um, but the difference is I think after the people die, to be a Christian, you think like um, pe good people deserve to be the better place like heaven or something. And in Buddhist, uh, they think like after people die, they have recycled. And they think they deserve to, you know, to back to life, to back to the world, back to their people among them. So they think they give them another life. I think it's different from this part. And um, sometimes I can feel conflict with two cultures, two religions. Because the first is the different culture things from the Western country or Eastern country. And the second part is um, two cultures, two religions, sometimes really hard to get involved with each other. Like the Buddhists, they think they are the best. Um, they think they serve everybody. They have the kind heart, which is peaceful heart. Mm, like to be a Christian, they think like, they have to service to everybody. They have to do the good things to the good people. Um, so um, I think sometimes I just feel confused about Christianity because in Buddhist they they're not like trying to uh, let you know about this religion. It depends on you whether you're gonna know it or not. But like Christian, like my grandma, she always said you should know about the Christian because. Um, I feel like it spreads to everybody, and um, they just want you. They just want you to know about their religion. Since the Buddhist religion is so a part of the Chinese culture, I asked Aiden to go in more depth about what they believe and what their philosophy is about. They have some books. It's not. It's not like a Bible. In the Buddhist, like high level area, they write the book. They just, they tell the people how to be the person instead of they tell the story. Like, it's not a, like Bible, like a um, few chapters about how Jesus um, helped everybody, how Jesus made the impact of their life, of their person. In Buddhist book, they just tell you um, some sort of uh, things, sort of sentence, and they let you, let yourself get to know what is mean. Yeah, they just like maybe they just write a picture and let you imagine how this picture this uh, means to you and uh, let you think about yourself how you're gonna you know um, how you're gonna make your life like this picture how you're gonna live your life like that yeah um, you know this best part is for China is that every dynasty they write a book about the before dynasty so they write it down just in case they you know disappear or something so they write it down one time uh, year by year generation by generation so it coming down from that generation so we can still read some um, types of their books yeah those books wow. I, I think Shanghai Jing is the earliest book in the in the Chinese history I think it's not a book. Our teacher said it's not about it's not a book. It's just people talking. Aiden shares with me what she believes. I'm willing to you know to be the good person because the religion religion any religion tell us how to be a good person and how to help everybody around you. So I think I can 
I can read the Bible, I can read the Buddhist things, but um, for me personally, I think I'm in the middle because I'm, I'm not ready for any of religion, so I think I better get to know it. Aiden also shares her personal perspective on creation. I still believe like you guys believe that um, God created the, the world because um, in our in China, in our religion, or in our culture, I still believe some God is not like you God, but it's some kind of God. They created the world and they created everything. And uh, I think they just, because everything just get involved. So I think they want to make the make our world more colorful. So Aiden explained that the Chinese believe that there are more than one God. There are many gods that they believe in. That's so dramatic in Chinese culture because we, when we created, um, when we describe those gods to, you know, to our, to our kids, it's so drama because um, there's one of our god, and he has no head, he just has body, but he created things, and the, one of his daughter. Uh, she can fly, she has wings, so it's like um, what I feel like they created them to be like so extraordinary, which is like make, supernatural, yes, yeah, supernatural things which makes people feel like oh, so great, so we should believe them. It's like um, ordinary creature in the world, so they deserve to create everybody. There's kind of like few gods because each one controls uh, each things. Like this person, uh, he controlled the created the plants. That person create created the people, and uh, another person created another things. So we think like each person have the, each job to do. So I think it's different from um, the Christianity because um, they believe like the God created everything human um, creatures in this world, so it's different. Aiden shared with me her thoughts about the biblical definition of creation. It was like uh, he created words, but um, I don't know whether it's like six days because, you know, time is only six days. I don't know whether he can create everything in six days, so I doubt about that. Although Aiden does not believe in the biblical definition of creation, she does believe that the human population started with one man and one woman, just like Adam and Eve. I believe just only one man and one woman. Yeah, because everything is related with one individual thing. So, their mother, their father, so created him. Aiden shares her perspective about Christians. Uh, my first impression is about, I think it's um, so kind. And uh, the main purpose is like service to everybody. Like, they're really nice. Yeah, they would like to help people. And they don't judge people, I know. So, I think the, the basic is different is they're nice. <laughs> and they work there. Although Aiden's grandma is a Christian, her first discussion about Christianity actually took place here at DBU. Oh, the first time um, I can remember, the first time I discussed the um, Christianity with Catherine, because she's one of my classmates in my first class. So um, she's very nice, and um, she just um, talked to me about her faith and they me to de uh, explore the Christianity, so that's good. Aiden explains why she chose to come to DBU. Actually, DBU chose me, because um, when I, after my um, IELTS exam, so I applied for like five universities in America. So um, I received the email from DBU. So it's the first school who accepted me. So I think, yeah, why not? It's first, so yeah, I just go there. And my grandma, she's a Christian. She said, okay, you should go there. It might be a good school, you know? Yeah. So, okay, yeah, why not? I just came here. 
Aiden explains the differences between American universities and Chinese universities. Nation by undergrad in China, which is not the Christian university, it's government public university. I think the culture is different because in China we have a lot of our time to do what we want, like no homeworks, just only one final exam, end of the semester. We don't have papers, we don't have anything in college in China because we still have time to do what, what you're gonna do because you are an adult. So like you maybe spend the time to the real life to adapt to you, you're gonna involve this. But in America, I think like the papers every day, homeworks every day. So which means like they teach you how to learn the things from the book in America, in our college. Uh, in China, it's like we learn things in our high school. So we make the things for real in college. So that's different. We have a longer class and we still have a class, like 50 people to be a class. And from from first year, 50 people to be a class. So like four years later, we still we still a class because um, it's not like in America you're gonna choose this course this semester, and you're gonna be another person's classmates. But next year you're gonna be another person's classmates. See, so uh, as China, we're a group, but different professors, different teacher, same classmates. Everybody's schedule is same. As a, as a class. The fall of mankind and sin are common terms to Christians. And while attending Dallas Baptist University, Aiden has heard of these terms in class and in chapel. She will share with us her perspective of the fall of mankind and sin in the world. I think it's about um, sometimes you just step wrong, um, like one step. But it makes a wrong decision, so that's maybe gonna make you feel like the far mankind, because it's all about the decision, I think. So it doesn't, it doesn't. I think it doesn't important because you are, uh, you are good or not. It's just because you made a decision, good or not. If if you made a wrong decision, you're gonna fall. If if you made a good decision, you're gonna keep going, maybe even better. So that's what I'm thinking. In Christianity, I know, and Kevin helped me, and uh, some of you guys helped me to understand what is sin mean in the Christianity. So I think sins like um, people disobey the God's word, um, the God, the God um, let us do something when you disobey that, which means like um, it's kind of your sin. And I know Jesus Christ died for people's sin. So I think for me, I think to be a Christian, Christian, I if I'm a Christian, I feel so pressured because everything I've done, it's all my sin. In our culture, things if you make make something wrong, and you still got forgiven, but you still have sin. I asked Aiden, who is Jesus? Um, Jesus Christ um, is a main characters in the whole Christianity because I took the uh, religion class last semester so I think like it's really important because um, like Jesus resurrection if it, if it is true so it reveals like that everything is true like God is exist so I think I think Jesus Christ is is a meaning of the faith like it can, it can lead everybody, people trust this face and trust this, um, I, I think trust this Christianity because Jesus is a symbol of all the thing. I think, yeah. And it's really important because, um, I don't know, it's like he's the uh, son of God. So I think um, he's the main thing in this culture. And um, I know Jesus is, Jesus is a real person in the real life, right? But I don't know whether if they're a real person like in our history. Because we studied our Chinese history. Yeah, you talk about some, you know, um, earlier dynasty. And I still doubt about whether if they're 
you know, if there's a real person in that dynasty, or just like some people write about it to let the people know about、uh, that part of culture thing. I asked her what she thought about God revealing Himself to humanity. I think he does. Yeah, I think he does. He maybe he's、um, in somewhere else. We don't know, but he creates everything to let the people know, like he is willing to help people. He's lead us to to do the right thing. I think he is. Yeah. But even though sometimes you just sometimes I don't feel it, but you know. Like Kathleen told me, like he's so big, he's so great. Even though he he doesn't know you this time, but he might know you next time. Or like the prayer, you might be this pray for this time. He doesn't listen to you, but you know, pray for all times. Maybe one day he's gonna be listening. I also asked her what she thought about heaven and hell, and if she believed in them. Yeah, the Buddhists like、um, they describe the heaven and hell. It's like there's no hell in Buddhist. There's no heaven in Buddhist.、Uh, they just like they believe people can transition to another person in their normal lives. So they just think like maybe they one of the baddest person. Like they don't、um, like this person. He doesn't need forgiven. He doesn't need like salvation, something. That this kind of person, he deserves to go to the hell. But、um, there's no hell in Buddhist. So what are they gonna do? They believe like he gonna, he gonna, he will, he will not, he will not able to become another life in in our life. So that that's a Buddhist thing. No heaven, no hell. But I know in Christianity,、um, like there's heaven and hell, right? But、um, <clears throat> I'm、um, I'm not agree with、um, some of Christianity said because they think like if you're a Christian, you're gonna go to the heaven. But if you are not, you might be go to the hell. But I think it's like、um, some good people, they're not Christian, but they're still you know willing to help somebody. They still have kind of faith. Is maybe it's not Christianity faith. They have some other faith in their heart, but they're still good person, nice person. So、uh, once they died, they they I think they deserve to go to heaven because they're good. They do the best for the people. So I think hell is for like for the people who can't who can't blame himself, who can't、um, get salvation. That's. I think that's a hell. <clears throat> From my heart, I believe everybody can you know, get salvation. Everybody、mm-hmm. can realize what they have done. They have the guilty things in their heart. So it's a really good question for me right now. I can't. I can't think about one thing keep there from the heaven. Aiden shares how Christianity is perceived in China. Right now in China, there's a bunch of people. They become a Christian a lot, but compared with the last ten years ago, there's、uh, so few people. They can stand out, say they're Christian. But right now, like,、um, like this year, I back to China during the summer. I just found out, like, my aunt's friend, she became a Christian, and、um, her whole family became a Christian. Even the little girl, she's only like seven. Eight years old, so which is good. I think the Christianity is spread to the world in a good way, so which leads to everybody think like it's kind of good faith to lead people to trust their lives is gonna be good with God. Aiden does own a Bible, and she has been going to church, and she's still searching for the truth. Talking to Aiden has helped me to get a better perspective of the Chinese worldview on Christianity.